whole school engagement, inclusive student leadership, and unified sports. That's what Special Olympics is all about. Acceptance is inviting somebody to the party, but inclusion is when you ask them to dance. These are the programs that remind me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. The benefits of a unified sports program is not just for our students with disabilities, but it's also for all students. Since Unified Sports has started here in Newhart Park, what I've been seeing is high fives in the hallways. You don't see a difference between general ed and special ed students. Our regular ed students that work with our special needs students get a, a sense of some challenges that they may face, and we get to learn about people who may not be like ourselves. One of the excellent things that has come along with this Play Unified movement is an awareness of accepting everybody's differences. And I've had partners tell me, Coach, I'd have never hung with these guys before because I, I had a wrong impression about them. Now, hey, we're, we're buddies. Since we've adopted the Unified program, the students that are mentors or general ed students have gone through a metamorphosis. They were very sort of self-focused, singular, competitive. I saw a huge change in those students once they were working with the special needs students. Whether it's middle school, high school, 3,000 students or 300 students, Unified Sports has a way to calm your building. I've been in other districts within the state of Connecticut. In some of those other districts that did not have unified sports, there were a lot of instances of bullying. Before we had a unified program, there were definitely more instances of derogatory statements towards special needs students. Kids with special needs eating lunch by themselves. You don't see that anymore in the schools that implement it. I wish we'd done it before I got there 34 years earlier. It's awesome because you have all the other kids who maybe aren't involved in that program seeing that as well. And modeling that same behavior in the hallways and outside, you know, when they're playing ball or at home. I've seen students who are the bullies take that bully, put them in a different environment called Unified Sports, and I've watched them change from who they were to who they are now. The participation value is everything in, in Unified Sports. Getting students involved in other students' lives, it's an endless opportunity of learning for both parties. The social skills are improved they're learning now what some typical teenagers and how some other people act, but also our general education students are benefiting because they're knowing how to behave around others. What I have found is the generation that we're working with right now in high schools want to be involved. They just need an opportunity. As educators, we're here to serve all students with all needs. And if you're not serving a certain portion of that population and there's a program that could support you in supporting those students, why wouldn't you want that program? Unified sports actually is not a big piece of my day. Unified sports is almost done with the physical education teachers and with some special education teachers and some paras. They almost take it upon themselves to run the program. You know, I literally go to a school and say, if this is just going to be more work for the principal, we don't want your school. We want kids running this. The Youth Activation Committee plans on game days, day before a game, to get the whole school involved. They decorate the hallways. Now I lead the Carmel chapter of Champions Together, and we do, we put on multiple events throughout the year that are always unified. Grace is a, a wonderful leader because she empowers other people. I think that's what most great leaders do. The support we got from the Special Olympics in New York was tremendous. They guided us through a lot that we needed. We had two teachers go to the original training and they, within a few weeks, started a unified basketball team. There was some funding provided by Unified from Connecticut. That seed money helped us with things like uniforms and transportation. When we have a school with unified sports, we tend to see students not only doing unified sports together, we start to see our students in English classes, in other math classes. We want every athlete to participate 
in a way that is going to not only represent who they are, but who we are as a school and as a community. Our unified team to us is a varsity team. They are part of our awards dinner at the end of the year. They get certificates to be there, trophies. So they're fully engaged and part of all of our activities. To see in the stands the, the faces of the parents and brothers and sisters and aunt and uncles and grandparents of just the joy and happiness of seeing what their children are a part of. It just made all of this worthwhile. It's easy to talk about making a difference one student at a time. It's much more difficult to make that a real statement. Unified Sports allowed us to come that much closer to truly making a difference in the lives of every student. Choose to include Choose to include. 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 Contact your local Special Olympics program for more information on becoming a unified champion school and bringing unified sports to your community. Please visit specialolympics.org for additional information.